What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mixtape Moth. So today we're going to talk about the new Bodie James album entitled Killing Nothing. Now, Bodie James is a prolific Detroit MC who loves rapping about drugs. It's what he's really good at. Even though he is a very consistent rapper with a mean pen game, he is going to be an acquired taste for some. And that's mainly due to his drowsy and nonchalant delivery. Look, I like Bodie James and I think he's a dope rapper, uh, but it is true. He can sound very sleepy at times. The man tells some very ill street stories, uh, but he does so in the most composed and indifferent way. Uh, and that's not always going to go over too well for listeners who prefer rappers uh, with a punchy, animated, or more urgent mic presence. But in spite of the criticisms regarding his flow and delivery, Bodie James has a very consistent catalog. I think most would agree uh, that he is four for four with his Alchemist collaboration projects. Uh, those two haven't missed yet. Now for this brand new project, Killing Nothing, Bodhi decided to link up again with the producer collective Real Bad Man coming out of LA. This is the follow-up to their very dope Real Bad Bodhi project from 2020. So all of these instrumentals were produced entirely by Real Bad Man. It contains 13 tracks and lasts approximately 43 minutes. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. This opens with the track Water Under the Bridge, uh, which has a shadowy and murky instrumental, uh, one where you can envision a body getting tossed under a bridge late at night. Bodhi has a series of threatening bars throughout, some that stood out where I'll ground you, no punishment, no pun intended, but back in grade school, you was running for student council. Now you a killer and a shooter, but we doubt you. But yeah, this is a solid opener that sets an eerie tone right off the bat. Track two, All the Way Out, has more of a West Coast boom bat flair. It's a little livelier, uh, like something you could have heard from the alcoholics. Bodhi states, playing both sides of the middle, dude's not exempt. Aaron shit out, the only way to vent. None of your dudes not killers, they just got attempts. Bodhi comes through with a pretty dope hook as well that is catchier than normal, but as a whole, it's a solid track. Song three is Game Time, where Bodhi raps about having the Cuban links over the stove like he's Raekwon. Uh, that's when he comes alive, when he's cooking up. That's when it's game time. This has a slower but menacing beat that has a slight alchemist feel to it. Bodhi reflects, mama gave up on me early, damn near called it quits. Seems like I never stood a chance until I caught a brick. And he also thanks Westside Gun for his Griselda partnership because he believes that if he ever falls off, Westside Gun will hit him with a starter kit. So it sounds like Westside Gun is a real boss who looks after his people. Check 490 Bands has a dark cinematic loop. It's soulful with dramatic strings and eerie effects. Here, Bodhi gives us some motion picture drug rap. His second verse is pretty haunting as he talks about losing friends to the streets and prison. There's a lengthy list of RIP shout outs. The mood then lightens a bit with the track Medellin featuring Crime Apple, uh, the quirky, playful loop that we are getting here is well suited for Crime Apple's uh, lighthearted rapping style. Even though this beat serves its purpose in breaking the heavier tension from the preceding tracks, it might be my least favorite instrumental on the project. The two talk about being the real Medellin, uh, while these other dudes is just Medellin. Crime Apple, delivers a pretty solid verse. I dug the following lines. Looking Anglo-Saxon, how I brought the sack in. That's white privilege. And it makes me wonder, is Crime Apple considered a white rapper? Track six is Cash Transactions featuring Knowledge the Pirate, who always impressed me as an OG who was the real deal. Like you can just hear and feel the authenticity in his gritty voice. On top of a chilling boom bap beat, the two talk about loving this trap shit more than this rap shit. It's like they got a passion for selling drugs. Bodhi's storytelling is vivid, especially on lines like, 
Strap poking out his jeans. He in stack motion. Granny was three months clean. Now she back smoking. But it was knowledge the pirate's performance that actually stood out the most to me. He just painted a visual of a grimy old head still making plays in the dope game. Up next is Open Door with Stove God Cooks and Rome Streets two underground favorites at the moment. We are getting an unsettling and intense beat that is cinematic. I also liked how Boldy switched up his flow slightly and Rome Streets killed it with his sharp wordplay, no doubt. Rome Streets raps, worked a pill press before I ever had a press release. My dudes will press your press, press triggers, then rest in peace. And I feel Stove God's feature was consistent for what we have gotten from him recently, which is charismatic in We Coke Talk. He states, bought a kilo, stepped on it, got an ego, got a speedboat, Ferrari Portofino. But let me know in the comment section who you feel had the best verse out of the three. Personally, I'm going with Rome Streets. Right after is Ain't No Bon Jovi, which has Boldy going off over some mellow sample-based production. He raps, while dudes fussing who hotter, me or mock homie, I'm discussing the price of tea in China like a hot toddy. And in Detroit, all we do is sell birds and drop bodies. Got five hobbies. Love to read. Love to recycle. Get money, fuck good, and eat, then repeat the cycle. I really dug the bars on this track. Song nine is Bo Jack Miller Light where Bodhi gives us more intricate street tales, uh, but this time over a jazzy and dusty boom bap beat. It's very head nodding and uh, golden era inspired. There's also scratching on the hook, so you can't really go wrong with it. Then sonically, the remaining tracks each have a heavy guitar presence on Sig Sawyer. Bodhi uses more of a double time flow over a pensive guitar riff. He's providing more detailed criminology talk. And he's really skilled at bringing the listener into his Detroit drug zone. Bodhi then reflects, serving out the gray Honda, I was selling my Aunt Rhonda, yay. He gives us more of a bird's eye view of the trap on the following song, Five Mississippi, uh, which is backed by somber guitars and a haunting vocal sample. It's one of my favorites uh, on the project. Bodhi paints another portrait of survival in the trenches. He speaks more on family addiction and how to handle snitches. Uh, the storytelling is pretty in depth and stellar. The second to last track is Seeing Visions. It's a hazy and psychedelic record with another standout instrumental. Uh, the multi-layered beat really fits Bodie's methodical drug raps like a glove. Then the album wraps up with Killing Nothing, uh, where we get more guitars worked in with an attractive soul sample, uh, which made me feel like I was cruising through the Cali streets before sunset. I was also getting somewhat of an alchemist meets evidence vibe to this production. So Bodie does close out this album on a strong note with his dope boy confessionals. Overall, I give this project a rating of a strong three and a half mics. I could understand you know, the argument being made to give this a four. I feel it's another very solid, dope, and consistent project from Boldy James, who, as cliche as it may sound, uh, hasn't really missed in years. He has been on a successful four-project run with The Alchemist, and it's safe to say that he is two for two with Real Bad Man. Although, I will say that I actually enjoyed his Real Bad Boldy album slightly more than this. Uh, I think because the production was a little livelier throughout, which helped to offset Boldy's uh, laid back delivery. And let me be clear, that's not to say that there weren't uh, some upbeat moments instrumentally on this project, uh, but the bulk of the beats had a gloomier, dark, gray, and overcast quality to them, more consistent with his Alchemist projects. Another slight issue that I had was uh, as good as his Coke Talk and Street vignettes are. Uh, his subject matter can be uh, a bit repetitive. And I say this personally as a fan of street rap, you know, drug rap, uh, but I do think that Boldy is a talented enough lyricist to give us uh, conceptual tracks here and there, or maybe to approach street life from a slightly different 
perspective, uh, maybe he could challenge himself a little more topically. I'm not expecting him to do a Kendrick. Uh, I, I don't want that, but I think you understand what I'm getting at. That being said, uh, this is a very solid release that I'm sure will likely go over really well with Bodie's hardcore fan base. It's music that you could either bag up work to uh, or else to live vicariously through Bodie's grim storytelling. My favorite tracks include All The Way Out, 190 Bands, Cash Transactions, Open Door, Bojack, Five Mississippi, Seeing Visions, and Killing Nothing. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moff. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Bodie James, Real Bad Man, Killing Nothing, one.